Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. Today I thought I would pick up the camera. The sun is shining, I'm in the mood to have a bit of a spring reset. I feel like a lot of Brits this time of the year were just like spring clean, organized, want the house completely decluttered. I feel like we have a lot to do in this household, but today I thought I would make a start and have a bit of a kind of a focus on the bedroom. I want to do a bit of a refresh. So yeah, I thought you guys might be interested in seeing some like new bits that we've got for the bedroom, including a brand new bed, which I got in last... I don't think I showed you in the last vlog, but you'll see it today. But I did mention that I was getting a new bed. So we have that. That's arrived all built and in place. But I definitely want to do, you know, like a full bed wash where you clean the mattress. That's how, you know, much of a wash I want. And I am very kindly working with Emma on today's video. Emma Sleep, I have worked with them before. And we have loved and used their mattress, one of their mattresses for a while now and are big, big fans. But yeah, today I wanted to show you how easy it is to remove the mattress cover. I do have a mattress protector on my mattress as well, which I wash a bit more regularly, but it is super easy to just remove the cover of the mattress anyway. So I will show you that. A couple of new pillows as well, actually, which I again got from Emma. Before I talk to you about those though, I will just mention that I have an offer on for you guys, which gets you extra discount off their already amazing spring sale offers on. So be sure to head to the website, which I will leave a link in the description box down below. My discount code as well, Freya Farrington will get you that extra money off so if you also have been thinking about a bit of a spring refresh whether that be a new mattress and bedding new pillows or even just like me a deep clean of that then um well now's the time to have a look at their sales that amazing offers and to have a look at seeing what emma provides some of my favorites include the of course the mattress itself we have the premium one they do like a luxe cooling one as well i feel like you have a nicer sleep as well when the temperature is slightly dropped in the bedroom and having that luxe cooling mattress as well will be really beneficial but for my new products that i have today i have taken the covers off just so you can see them well it comes with the emma cover again so you have this as like a kind of protector cover which you can remove and wash otherwise this is just what it looks like so cozy and comfy quite supportive i will say with this one so they have their premium pillows with the ergonomic support again the increased breathability temper control i would say the firmness is like a medium but this is that pillow that maintains the temperature so when you sleep. Do you know sometimes I used to get it when like in the middle of the night it just feels too hot and you turn over the pillow for a nice cooling effect. That's exactly what I mean by having the right sort of temperature when it comes to like your pillow and your mattress. They do of course have their original pillows as well that they sell. Their microfiber pillows, their premium microfiber fit pillows. It's like a tongue twister. And the microfiber ones are a bit more of like a softer support I would say. Also do their duvets as well so quite a wide product selection you can have the entire if you've seen our sofa bed downstairs as well you could have the full setup duvet mattress pillows sofa bed even so yeah the lot quite a wide selection so i would encourage you to have a look at their website for more on their products and of course the discounts that they have on offer with those spring sales of up to 40 percent off they are on until the first of may and my code that gets you that additional five percent off those sale prices is valid in the uk ireland and also the us as well other emma benefits include a 200 night trial they have a 10 year guarantee you can choose divide by to get zero percent finance on these um products as well meaning that you can essentially spread the cost over three to 12 months in like installments just giving you that flexibility really you've also got the free deliveries and returns so thank you to emma for sponsoring today's video i feel like we should get things kick started as always with any kind of a clean no matter what time of the year but especially spring clean of the mattress cover i feel like it's the first thing to do so that the washing is on it'll be ready to go back on this afternoon this evening so that we can have it done in a day it's always my first step in any kind of cleaning is just get a wash load on and soon before long once the garden is done we'll be able to have a line and we can have everything drying out in the summer sunshine oh not long to go honestly guys if you're following along our garden renovation that's a whole different spring reset 
that's the whole project. Might even pop out to the shops at some point and pick up some other bits to just like finishing touches within the bedroom with a bit of a bedroom refresh. Whilst I pop out as well later on, I'm not only refreshing the home, but I'm also refreshing myself because I'm gonna pop out and get a pedicure. So I might take you along for that as well. It's one of those trips that whilst I'm out, I might just stumble into, stumble into a shop to pick up some more bits to finish off the bedroom with. So let's get on with the day. If you haven't already, make sure you're set and cozy with a nice drink, maybe an iced one if it's a bit warmer, feeling a bit warmer for you today watching this video. Grab the snacks and let's get going. So this is how the bed is currently looking. I don't always have these um, like V-shaped pillows that we both sleep with on the bed, but just for convenience, I just thought I would make it as like my everyday bed. Also, maybe triggering for some of you. As I was making the bed, I was thinking with the bed sheets being so creased, but I always feel like after one night's sleep in it anyway, it gets creased. So spend all that time ironing your bed for it to be creased. That's not to say I'd never iron, because sometimes I do. But like I said, it's my everyday kind of bed making today. And I didn't iron it. Plus with these throws on, which this bigger one is from Tesco's. And then the other one, this waffle one is from Magic Linen. And then I just pop on the bed just as like a finishing touch my wicker tray this is from Dunelm. just pop my little journals on there and then i spritz it with let me show you what i've been currently using one second it's from molten brown and it's just this linen spray in ginger linen ginger lily home and linen mess you can pop it on curtains um like i said bedding in your wardrobes wherever really but yeah, what do you think of our new bed? I just think it brightens up the space quite a lot compared to the last one. The last one was, if you saw it in my last vlog, I did a bit of a before bedroom look. If you see anything, by the way, that you want links to, just let me know. Like, message me on Instagram and I'll send you a link to it. But anyway, I also had, let, in fact, let me firstly show you this mirror. So this mirror fits perfectly in this little alcove and I've just switched out from when we had the Ikea Pax wardrobe here, which kind of stuck out like a sore thumb, I'm not gonna lie. As soon as we had the wardrobes fitted in my other room, this we knew we were gonna get rid of the Ikea wardrobe here and I just feel like having a full length mirror is kind of an essential in a bedroom, so. Yes, I have, as some of you had mentioned, angled it away from the bed for feng shui spirits all of that kind of thing so yeah it's not angled on the bed but um just in that alcove i think it fits perfectly but yeah let me show you it's from next by the way that um it was the one downstairs but we've switched out the mirror that was in the kitchen to a larger one from william wood so uh for now this is perfect and let me show you what i've bought from amazon to go here maybe so i got this chair it was well it is actually a swivel chair but i've not 
attached the bottom to it because I don't think I would ever use it as a swivel chair. I think it would annoy me as well, if I'm honest. So I just thought if I put this in front of the mirror, is it going to block too much of the mirror? Let's have a look. No, that's perfect. I could even do a little cushion on there. Let's see how it looks over this side. too small and a bit lost there i actually think it looks better in front of the mirror let's just show you this one from the bed for now because i might even see if i can find some new cushions to freshen up the bed with in home sense but yeah just a little cushion on there just to soften the room i feel like it's quite nice to have um have that little, little seat there I actually really like that. So that's that little area switched out from what it was before with the Ikea wardrobe. I think it looks much better. And the other side currently just has the ladder, a couple of baskets, and again, some throws and cushions to make it quite soft and cozy in here. I am going to head up now. I need to go to, I'm going to a place called Townhouse to get a pedicure. So it's in Wilmslow. And then there is also a TK Maxx and HomeSense en route um, at Hanford Dean which is one of my favorites that I tend to go to. So I might pop in there. There is also a white company right opposite townhouse. So I might pop in there too. We'll, we'll see where we end up. Let's head on the road. Let's go get a nice little pedicure and then head to the shops. home after hold on let me just rejig this camera situation lovely pedicure thank you so much to townhouse for having me if you are yet to try it out they have lots of nail salons up and down the country and they're very kindly invited me for the pedicure which yes yeah, been a while since i've had a pedicure and i went for a french because i feel like i can't do french myself so i thought i would try something that i can't do and yeah love them popped my comfies back on my swabs ready to crack on with kind of finishing the bedroom refresh and i did manage to pick up a few things from home sense and tk maxx to add to the bedroom so i'm going to start with sharing those with you firstly these gorgeous cushions they're quite big does it say what size they are it doesn't but you can see how big they are from me holding them up kind of like a borg style fabric with a bit of a frill on the edges so because i'm brightening up that space or i've brightened up that space with the new bed i wanted to keep all the like touches quite bright especially with us having a dark wall color which if you're interested is lick beige 01 beautiful color got a kind of green undertone to it but yeah because we have the dark color on the walls i thought we would freshen things up keep things nice and bright on the bed as well but with lots of texture they were 24.99 but yeah they are quite big so that's probably a wider a bit pricier i did also pick up two other cushions of which i actually already own this one i found one ages ago that i popped in i think i showed you in like a spring home sense type haul it's currently on the chair like the armchair in the black room the front room but yeah i saw them again thought they could sit quite nicely on the bed whether it be our bedroom a spare bedroom again sofas these cushions are so lovely that i had to pick them up so it could sit quite nicely in front of this one it's more of like a bolster shape linen 
cover on the front and then the reverse is just like a really cozy velour kind of fabric. 19.99 and yeah, I picked up two of those. Oh gosh, cushion overload. I did also get some white company bits, but let me stick with the Home Sense and TK Maxx finds. So I got this at 12.99. I don't need any more wreaths, but I thought this would be the perfect wreath for having on your door that's not too because especially this year with easter having been so early i don't want an easter wreath on the door with eggs and things on but i thought that would be a really nice kind of foraged look it could even be like an all year round wreath oh i forgot i got this okay this was beautiful when i saw this i there was a few of them and i was trying to choose which one i liked the most so it's this kind of like crystal natural stone of which it's yes yeah, white quartz moroccan sahara it's from 14.99 so i have a huge one of these in our bathroom let me get my torch on it how pretty it actually is honestly so pretty so our bathroom catches the light sort of the main bathroom catches the sunlight so i have a large one of these in there and i thought this could sit alongside it the other one as well which i did also get from home since i remember that being about 70 pounds so 14.99 i thought was really reasonable for this so so pretty i also got these i loved the look of these as well but quite often i'll get these room centered sachet things and this one is in a really nice scent because it's in herb garden so again for spring and summer i feel like these are lovely how nice is that pattern as well it's like something that you'd imagine to see in neptune speaking of neptune i'm gonna go i'm gonna go probably in my next vlog as they've got the new the new season color so yeah i'm gonna have a little browse in the uh neptune that'll be next time but anyway yeah herb garden you get a set of six oh no eight high fragrance sachets and these are 4.99 sticking with the spring summer theme i saw this notebook and i just thought it was beautiful surrounded in beauty can you see with the gold there and it's just a very simple lined notebook i like the ones with the ring binder so that you can get a full page 10 like that i tend to do myself daily to-do lists even simple little things like putting the washing away or wash the bedding i like to do myself a little checklist so that by the end of the day i feel quite accomplished when i've t managed to tick through it so yes i love these kind of plain lined notebooks and i thought this one was gorgeous 5.99 i love having in our downstairs toilet a like our downstairs loo a small candle especially when we have guests over i always light a candle in there just so that if anyone goes in there it smells lovely and i saw these mini ones that they did um in tk maxx from urban apothecary which i love my favorite scent they do is the vine tomato one i've had the bigger candles from them before and reed diffuses as well actually but these ones are usually 18 pounds but they are 5.99 in tk maxx and they look lovely as well nice and simple that will go in our downstairs low beautifully and this one this one smells lovely green green lavender also picked up this one in same packaging in smoked leather oh god see it's so strong this one's very oh god, it takes me to winter autumn winter cozy nights log fire on absolutely stunning so i think i'm going to start with burning this one the green lavender with it being the um warmer seasons <laughs> i want to say it's not that warm yet is it i also picked up two packs of cards i love my little stockpile of cards that i have as you guys know and i thought these would make a really nice addition just to have to hand they're from the it's like a william morris design is that the same as william morris it says morris and co it looks the same in terms of branding. They come with two different designs. This design obviously just being blank is ideal for anything. And then this one has a happy birthday message on it. And then same with this, you get two different designs, both of which are birthday. So you've got happy birth, oh no, birthday wishes and both of them say birthday wishes. I really like that one. But anyway, 3 99 for these so you get eight in each how pretty are these really rustic looking and they're from the brand scoved 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 <laughs> i don't know um some kind of it looks scandy type brand but i just love how rustic these pots look and textured again that kind of texture i love like a real rustic texture 
So set of two ceramic stone effect vases. These are only $7.99, four pound a vase. How cheap is that? I feel like that's something you would see in like a Zara home. I know White Company have started to do these like rustic pots you might have seen from the bit of vlog footage that I got there, like 70 pounds. Obviously they're bigger than these, but still four pound each and a nice neutral color as well. Um, What else did I get? Oh, I got something glitzy and party. I mean, I'll show you, but it's, it's not really i'm not even sure if i'm going to keep it yet but i've got it for I've got a hen do coming up where we have a night where it's just like party sparkles and this has like a really sparkly thread running through it so i thought i could wear a nice outfit underneath and then just throw this on over the top it's kind of like a a shawl a kimono sorry it was 16.99 from the brand jessica mcclintock and also with it being kimono you can throw it on over a bikini we've got a beach party one day because we are going abroad so um yeah i could put that on over my swimsuit i also saw this is the difference you see with me going to tk maxx also managed to pick up some clothing so i also saw this from bershka and it's a little crop well it's kind of like a little mini top that obviously it has the straps that you can do up and just tie in a bow at the top of your shoulder or just tuck them in and have it as a little strapless bandeau which i thought i would pair with some like high-waisted i've got some linen shorts actually that would look really nice with this i only had a large available so the fact that it does up i thought a large would be fine you can just cinch it in even tighter and it's a gorgeous fabric lovely quality and it was only 4.99 white company bits did just pop in there and um i was actually looking out for a gift for a friend who's just had a little bubba uh, but i ordered her something online instead because they didn't have any kids or baby stuff in the wilms i want it was just mostly home and women's wear so i did pick up a couple of candles i've been enjoying burning my botanical candles down in the kitchen i've currently got one from the white company burning in Ooh. Guys, you remember I told you there was a nest in another vlog? There's a nest in the tree. And I've just seen a magpie go to it and I was saying, oh, is it a magpie nest or is it another nest and a magpie's just in it? That to me looks like it is the magpie's nest. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I do really enjoy spring, you know, with the whole, when you see baby lambs, little ducklings on your walks nests birds nests i just it's like a rebirth isn't it it is a lovely time of year but anyway so because it's a lovely time of year i treat myself to some candles so the one that i've got burning in the kitchen at the minute is sea salt i thought i would stock up on two more this one's a slightly smaller one it's more of the i think it's the smallest size they do in the uh botanical candles at 35 pounds it's in the scent tuscan grove which just sounds gorgeous neroli orange blossom and bergamot i think I've got actually an oil downstairs in Tuscan Grove. The oil that I'm using currently in our oil burner is grapefruit and mandarin from the White Company. Maybe if I get this burning, I'll switch it out and use that one too. Another one that I got in, oh, the ribbon has spun around, but this one is in a very similar scent. It's bergamot and cedar, but obviously the notes for Tuscan Grove is neroli, orange blossom and bergamot. This one is bergamot, neroli, and cedar wood. So quite similar. So I thought I could get them burning at the same time. And then they kindly wrapped up for me a couple of little oils. New oils, these ones. They've got a couple of new scents in their kind of luxe range. Love both of them. They're all quite similar in terms of Amalfi lemon. We've got vetiver and citron and Sicilian orange. So all very zesty apart from Santa Rosa, which is more floral. But yeah, these ones, I picked both of them up. I couldn't decide between the two and i had just finished an amalfi lemon oil so i thought these would replace it i actually picked up the amalfi lemon as well i thought no let me just stick with the two new ones 10 pounds these are so let's head on back through to the bedroom i'm going to pop those cushions on the bed see how they look and any other like finishing touches that i have for in that bedroom as well just to give it that bit of a bedroom refresh although i am just enjoying sipping on my coffee at the same time maybe i'll just do some emails first and then go and do that Find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high. Pretty little thing, you're 
a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point Makes a world of difference So oh, you make me strong Pretty little thing I'm lacking maybe artwork I've obviously got this one piece here which is from Art With Feeling and um, and then I've got this side of the room over here which I am thinking about removing this ladder switching up that corner but until I've got some artwork maybe to put on there I felt like it the, the wall space needs something and needs that height from the ladder so I am leaving it for now I do also feel like that pop of black together with the pop of black from the frame and the lights it does kind of go quite nicely so yeah it is staying there for now but if I do find some artwork then maybe I will switch that corner up I decided to pop a couple more books like display books on here and I I did have them in the middle but then I've switched them to the lamp sort of sat on top of them I actually don't really burn these because I just like the look of them so much. Um, I have burnt them a bit, but I kind of don't want them to run out. So they're from a company called The Wild Botanist, and I got these quite a while ago, actually. They're on these little candle stands, which you can put little tapered candles in, you know, like the church thin ones as well. But these are from Matalan. Our little lights and darks washing baskets from Zara Home. Let a little bit of fresh fresh air inside the sun's come out now as well one final touch a little sneak peek in the mirror there of this bedroom refresh is this gorgeous rustic like stool bench this was from home barn i've just thrown a um just like a plain cotton throw over just for again that added like texture and detail but i just love that kind of rustic feel to it it just makes it feel like you know, you see those American farmhouse rustic style bedrooms. <laughs> That's kind of the vibe that we're going for. I definitely think we could actually get a longer bench. This bench was intended to be in our utility. So I may at some point move it down there, but, um, and then I could replace it with a bigger one up here, like a longer one, but I just love it. The added extra texture and detail. I just think it finishes off this room beautifully. Sorry if the quality is uh, not as good guys, but I'm just switched to my phone. I wanted to show you a bit of a garden update. Look how crazy since the last vlog, if you saw it. We started the garden renovation project. Keep you guys posted on Instagram home account, my homeware account. So if you want like live updates, then be sure to see. I've got like a garden highlight on there. But anyway, this is how this side is looking, which is going to be where the outdoor kitchen is. This is the neighbor's garden. So all the fence panels are down. They're going to be taking down all of these ones as well. And then this side is looking very different because they have basically excavated loads of like bushes and stuff. So it's a lot more open here, um, ready for the fence panels again to all be replaced. They've taken down all of these ones. So we've got like a neighbor there, a neighbor there, a neighbor there, a neighbor there. And then first we've got five people to please. So we've, we've just spoken to them all and just said we're, we're happy to do like budget fence panels around the entire perimeter and then it's up to them if they want to paint it if we want to paint it however we want to finish them off but yes all the bricks have been delivered as well as you can tell ready for this dwarf wall to be built concrete foundations have been laid for that wall and then it'll be a couple of steps down into this area which is the grassed area and then this will be more the paved gravel landscaped outdoor kitchen garden area it's looking very different where's your garden barney Where's it gone? He's like, bring me back the grass. Actually, to be fair, he quite likes the mud. Just jumping in here to round off today's vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed this kind of spring reset, bit of a refresh in the home. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed spending the day with me. Thank you once again to Emma for very kindly working with me on today's video. Don't forget to check out their spring sales where you can save up to 40% off via the link in my description box, along with my discount code Freya Farrington, which will get you an extra 5% off those sale prices. That code is valid UK, Ireland, and the US so get shopping guys before the spring sales end on the 1st of May so thanks to you guys for watching and I hope to see you all very very soon in my next one bye guys